Hey guys, today in Art Club with Miss Burford, we'll be creating magic wands. You'll need either wooden dowel rods or kebab sticks, a glue gun, some string, some buttons and sequins, acrylic paint, a paintbrush, and that's it. This is just one design idea that you can do for a wand, but you can do so many different design ideas. I started with a bobble of glue at the end of my rod, and then just kept twisting the rod round and round as I moved the glue gun down so that my glue spiralled to give this rippled effect down the end of my wand. However, you could leave your wand at the end just as it was, or you could make it thick all the way down, or zigzags, or spots or even just a bend at the end of your wand. But for mine, I just went for a spiral of glue down about two thirds of my wand, and then at the bottom I wanted a good strong thick grip, which was easy for me to hold. So for this, I squeezed out a lot more glue and made sure it's consistently thick and covered so there's no gaps in between. And I kept twisting my dowel so that then the glue wouldn't drip, otherwise it would just all drip down the one side. You will get some thicker areas of glue and some thinner areas of glue but this creates a really organic shape which is perfect for magic wands. Whilst the handle part of my wand was drying I worked on the main part and I added some strings so that I could really emphasise that spiral down the main part. So I just spiralled my string around the dowel and every now and then I put a, a dab of glue on there just to keep it in place and stop it unravelling. You could use string on your handle and create a nice um, grip on your handle. Or you could just leave the string completely, there's no need to have it at all. Just don't forget to secure your string with a blob of glue at the end and hold it into place until it's dry. When the glue of the handle had hardened a bit and stopped moving, I then added more to it so I could build up layers and add more texture. Again, twisting it stops the glue from dripping. An optional extra is to add sequins and buttons to add a gem kind of look to your wand. I just like to add one so it looks like a light at the bottom of my wand. I used a sequin for this area. And then I added a button on the handle of the wand. You could either leave this exposed so it looks like a gem, or I just used it to create more texture within my handle. I will paint over this in just a bit. Paint your wand all over or leave some of your gem bits exposed and you can also dry brush your wand later with gold, silver or black to make features stand out. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more art lessons like this every week and other art related content every now and then. See you next week for more Art Club with Miss Burford.